Good day children. Welcome to our mathematics class. I am teacher Floor and I'm willing to help you in your math for quarter 1 week 2 lesson. Rounding of and arranging numbers. At the end of the lesson you are expected to round off numbers to the nearest thousands and ten thousands. Order numbers up to 100,000 in increasing and decreasing order. Before we start with our lesson, let's have a review first. Let's try to answer learning task 1. Select the number which are not arranged in the required order. Observe the numbers given in number 1. Is it arranged from least to greatest? No, it's not. How about number 2? Is it arranged from greatest to least? The numbers are rumbled. It is not arranged from greatest to least. How about number 3? Is it arranged from least to greatest? Oh no, it's not. Therefore, all the given numbers in 1, 2, and 3 are not arranged in the required order. Let's study how to arrange numbers. When we compare bigger numbers, we compare the digits starting from the left. The greater the value of the digit, the greater is the value of the number. Let's try to arrange from greatest to least. Write down the given numbers. Then look at the first digit from the left. If all the numbers are the same, Proceed to the next digits. Do the same procedure until you find which number is the greatest or the least. Then arrange the numbers according to what is ordered. Arranging from greatest to least is just the same as arranging in decreasing order. We write the number with the greatest value first, then order up to the least. Look at the example. Arrange the following numbers in decreasing order. 42,987 should be written first because it is the greatest number. Followed by 41,650 and 40,345 as the least. Arranging from least to greatest is just the same as arranging in increasing order. We write the number with the least value first, then order up to the greatest. Let's figure out this example. Arrange the following numbers in increasing order. This time, we'll write 25,381 first because it is the smallest number followed by 25,463 and lastly 25,780 as the greatest now let's practice answering learning task 2 arrange the following numbers from greatest to least This time, for learning task 3, we will arrange the following set of numbers in increasing order. Learning task 4, arrange the following set of numbers in decreasing order. This time, for learning task 5, you will be selecting the number which is not arranged in the required order.
all the given numbers from 1 to 5 are not arranged in their required order. After you have learned how to arrange numbers, this time, we will be studying how to round off numbers. When we count, measure, and calculate, we sometimes use rounding off to give us an estimation and approximation of the actual value or close value. Example, the school enrollment of 5,231 can be rounded off to the nearest thousand. As we can see, 5,231 is near to 5,000 than 6,000 as shown below in the number line. Therefore, 5,231 round off to the nearest thousands is 5,000. The following are the steps on how to round off numbers to a given place value. Observe when to be rounded up and rounded down. If we are going to round off the number 23,945 to the nearest thousands, we should follow these steps. Look at the digit to be rounded off. 3 is a number on the nearest thousands. The number on its right is 9. If the digit to the right is 4 and below, we're going to round it down. But if the digit to the right is 5 and above, we're going to round it up. We'll add 1 to the digit on the rounding place. So 3 now will become 4 and will change the remaining numbers to 0. So 23,945 round to the nearest thousands is 24,000. Next, we'll try to round off to the nearest 10,000s. This time, the number on the nearest 10,000s is 2. The number on its right is 3. It is less than 5 so we're rounding it down. We will retain the digit to be rounded off and replace the remaining numbers to the right with 0. So 23,945 round to the nearest 10,000 is 20,000. Now let's try to answer learning task 6. Round the following numbers to the nearest thousands and ten thousands. You are doing great! So let's try another one. Let's do learning task 7. Round off the actual price and write the figures on the appropriate column. You're now good in rounding off numbers. So we're moving on to learning task 8. Round off the following underlined digits to the nearest place value. Finally, let's answer learning task 9. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. Which of the following numbers is the greatest number? Number 2. Which of the following numbers is the least? Number 3. Which number from the set of numbers given does not belong in order? Number 4. Which number from the set of numbers given does not belong in order? Number 5. What is 47,652 rounded to the nearest 10 thousands? Number 6. 13,678 is between which two numbers? Number 7. 
Number 7. About how many audience come in the concert if the recorded is 41,425? Number 8. 83,234 is closer to which 10,000 number? Number 9. The number 60,000 is rounded to the nearest? And last but not the least, I am a 4-digit number. I am 5,000 rounded to the nearest thousands. I am odd number. My tenth digit is even. What number am I? Don't forget to like our videos, comment down your messages for us, and click the subscribe button for more updates. Again, this is Teacher Floor saying learning math is fun and easy.